Yo, what is good, Rice Ball Gang? Today, we do have some more bleach. And joined with me, as always, is the one and only distinct butter. So anyway, last time, we did get to see the rest of the fights between uh, Baragon's Frashion versus uh, Hisagi, Ikaku, and some of the other lieutenants. And Baragon looks like he's about to get involved in the fight now. So before we do get into it, if you guys are new to the channel and you do enjoy, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Become a part of the rice ball gang today also i did just start a twitch if we get to 1k followers on twitch i will go a week with half of my mustache yeah they dead dead uh-oh baragon big angry but you know it's bad when the old sucker getting up yo how much you want to bet haste is gonna look like that in 40 years <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, Loki. That's kind of a compliment. I mean, man's got like people serving him. He's got his own throne. <laughs> Bro, they they gonna get clapped if they go in there. To be honest. Oh, Soyfon. Oh. Oh, she. Oh, she already gonna fight. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Soyfon kind of an underrated waifu, like. Oh, so Stark's going up against uh, Shunsui and Ukitake. That's kind of a good matchup because Stark kind of reminds me of Shunsui in a weird way. Oh, okay. I want to see the old dudes go at it. <laughs> hey, hey, that's one thing with anime. You cannot underestimate old people, bro. So Baragon's probably strong as shit. <laughs> No? Give Sensei a shoulder massage. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I'm sorry. Soifon's lieutenant's like useless. <laughs> Damn! What is that? <laughs> he sat back down. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I think I think Baragon's last two people are gonna get clapped, bro. Of his majesty. They're really worshiping this man like a king. I love how they're saying all this and Aizen's like right up in the sky. <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. Like, who do you serve? Lord Baragon! I just like, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> so he's talking like he's like the strongest. Bro, but he on that lazy type. He's like, can we just pretend we're fighting? Like, come on, bro. Uh, bro, that's like, <laughs> I mean, that's kind of similar to Shunsui in a way. Like when Chad approached him at the Soul Society, it was just kind of like, uh, do we really have to fight? Like, let's just drink some tea, you know? Oh my God. <laughs> Captain Class, dude. Oh my God. Oh my God. Bro, I'm sorry. We just, we just gotta appreciate, uh. Oh my God. Oh my God. We're getting all them angles. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yo, so Hitsukai is really about to fight Hollowheel. Yo, her son Pacto looks cool. Whoa, what the hell? Yo, her son Pacto's sick. I love the sauce. How does she how she flicks it? Oh. Bro, she know how to work them hands. Okay. <laughs> Bro, you know it's serious when Yamamoto opens his eyes, bro. Hey, 
Okay, Soyfon. You should be able to dispose of these dudes pretty easy. <laughs> I don't know about her loot's hit it though. <laughs> o Omida or Omeda? Oh? O okay, he got a good kick in. They kind of built the same <laughs> as each other. <laughs> Big titties versus big titties. I like it. Okay, he too, Gaia. All of you is just, just chilling, though. Look at her height advantage. <laughs> that poor he too, Gaia. I don't know. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Rocket Q ain't lying. That one looks like a crackhead. I think your name was Apache. Like a ball and chain? Oh my god. This chick has zero chill. Oh. <laughs> Bro, Rocket Q don't even have to fight right now. They're just gonna fight each other. <laughs> Oh? So she's saying she can take them all out at once? Whoa, I don't think we've seen too much of her uh, Zompok though. Oh, she tripped her? <laughs> oh? The blade that turns into ashes. So I guess those like little ashes are similar to Byakuya's in a way where it's like, it'll, it's like a bunch of little particles that'll cut. Ooh. <laughs> They're vibing. <laughs> Soft? Oh, the settles, of course, of course. Wait, it's coming from her horn. <laughs> oh, three, three at once. Is three amigos. Yo, I kind of like the, the color change. <laughs> Why is he all red? He's <laughs> about to pop a blood vessel. Uh oh, oh, whoa. Oh, no. Damn. <laughs> that sound dude i love that i love that like reverb effect dude he is fast oh 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 okay, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, i didn't even notice she kicked one of his teeth off uh of his mask when she kicked him Soyfon gonna make me start simping out here, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. She she underrated waifu, man. <laughs> That's just how Bleach is, bro. <laughs> so, we are now officially getting into other battles. The Espada and Captains are now involved. And we still don't know the numbers of Baragon, Hullabiel, or Stark, but they are top three. So they're gonna be, these are gonna be some tougher opponents. And I'm kind of worried about Hitsugaya a little bit because I, I don't know, bro. I guess we we still haven't seen too much of what he can do in, in general. Same with Matsumoto. And obviously we have no idea what Hullabiel, Stark, and Baragon can do. That That is facts, that is facts. So it it's cool. I, I'm glad this is kind of set up the way it is because it's letting us see more of the the captain's powers that it that was previously brushed over very quickly in the Soul Society arc. And I I really like the matchups. Like it's kind of funny because a lot of the a lot of the matchups the opponents have similarities to each other. Like for example, like I brought up earlier in the reaction, Stark. And Shunsui, they're both kind of just like <laughs> chilled, laid, ba laid back. Um, Matsumoto is fighting the girl Laronkars. And then you have like Soifan's lieutenant who's fighting the other Chungo. So it's some it's pretty good like matchups. They're 
kind of similar to each other, whether it be like power or physical. Oh yeah, also too, it's kind of funny because like Yama, well, Baragon's chilling, Yama's just chilling, and Aizen and Gein and Tosin are stuck around the, the flames. But um, I think, I forgot who said it. I don't know if it was you, Butter, or someone in my comment section. I, I forgot where I read this at, but someone was like, I think it's funny how like everybody's like flying around in the air, right? And then uh, Yamamoto's fire surrounded Aizen and Tosin and them just around them. Couldn't they just technically fly up or down under the flames? Well, there was one thing I got to like say to that. It, it's Aizen. Like he's big chill and he was probably just going to sit up there no matter what. <laughs> That's probably facts. I'm I'm assuming even if uh, even if they physically couldn't get out without touching the fire, I'm assuming Eisen can pop out of there whenever he wants. Yeah, yeah, it's probably just to kind of. I, I feel like at the end of the day, especially with Eisen, all of this is like a game to him. So he just likes to sit back and observe. And plus, if Yamamoto and Aizen like actually went at it right now, it would be like massive destruction. And, like, like let's be honest. It's okay. They built a fake city for this. <laughs> that whole fake city would be gone, bro. Like, uh, the freaking research and development team put together this entire city. That is a perfect one-to-one -one replica of uh, Kurakura Town. And it's like down to every brick. They're like, guys, this is perfect. We threw this together so fast. It is actually like the big, one of the greatest achievements of like <laughs> construction you can ever imagine. And Aizen's like, oh, look at this fake city. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect battlefield. <laughs> But anyway, guys, this is going to wrap up today's Bleach reaction. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Become a part of the Rice Ball Gang today. Like I said in the intro of the video, make sure you guys go follow my Twitch if you want to see me with half a mustache. But anyway, what? I'll see you guys later. Peace. Peace.